the dimensional gateway of TV, the demons that come out of TV portal, and the remnant, about ten years ago, I was in the prayer circle, and God told me to tell the brothers who watched TV soap opera, they would be blamed for the blood of children, that are sacrificed in offerings for the success of each soap opera, I didn't speak to them in the prayer circle because I thought no one there was watching soap opera, because we were all evangelical believers, a few days later I found out that many of them were watching soap opera, Satan is terrible and behind all technology, the devil is a strategist, and technology belonged to him, he tried to control us more by sight, the eyes are the lamp of the body, if your eyes are good, your whole body will be full of light, but if your eyes are evil, your whole body will be full of darkness, I had a neighbor who was addicted to horror movies, one day, a demon of television appeared at night in his room, and ordered him to kill his son, who was three years old, this man ended up in the madhouse, I knew a brother, he said he woke up at dawn to go to the bathroom, when he saw that the TV was turned on alone in the room and the channel that was broadcasting had a lot of fire, and there was a horrible being with horns in television. He hung up quickly, he said that he saw the image of hell, practically, my dear you must note that, all the content of any program coming from television is offered to demons before it goes on the air, my dears, we have a call to awaken the elected church. The midnight cry is being echoed by everyone at this time, prepare yourself in repentance and holiness without which no one will see God, separate yourself from the world and apostate preachers. I am an evangelical Christian, but about four years ago, I didn't miss a soap opera in television, such as The Farm and Moustache, then, one night I went to bed for it was too late, but when I woke in the morning I saw a character in white that said to me, I'm coming back to take my bride, those who are attached to this device will not rise, if you continue to be attached to TV you will stay behind, from that day onward, I never watch anything in TV anymore. God bless, television is the devil education system designed for humans, even children in modern day grow up with satanic education system which is television, it is certain that there are demons acting on TV, because they consecrate these program to demons in black magic, sister Mauricio, it's been a while since I got rid of the TV too, since I saw a dark and very somber shadow with a monstrous appearance leaving the TV that was off. I never sat in front of a TV in my house again, on that particular day I was a little upset with my husband, so he went to sleep on the bed, and I went to sleep in the living room, the TV was turned on, the TV was on an evangelical channel, and I set the TV to turn off at a certain time, but I fell asleep before it goes off by itself, when I woke up it was 2 am and the TV was off. But when I opened my eyes the first thing I saw was a horrible shadow with monster aspects coming out of the television off. Today I don't have a TV in my house and I don't miss it, we no longer have a television in our house, and we have improved before God, Amen. Mrs. Christiane Barrows, peace from the Lord my sister, as a servant of the Lord myself, I was addicted to watching television, it left me depressed and cold spiritually. Then I heard several testimonies of rapture that disapprove of television, I was in a prayer campaign, so that God would free my son, the name of the campaign was mothers on their knees, children were standing and praying with their eyes closed, during this campaign I heard the voice of God, who told me, my daughter, close the door, I said, Lord but which door are you talking about Lord? He told me, the door of the television, TV is a dimensional doorway of the spirit world. Television is a cursed device, this device came from hell, look at the testimony of the assembly of God, brother Fernanda, it's true that TV is a dimensional gateway, I believe it because I've seen the crooked demon walking on the wall of my house and jumping inside the TV, I believe that TV is a way for demon to stay inside our homes, here at home there are unfortunately, but it's not mine, I'm in the fight teaching my children the way of the Lord. I am distracting them with other things, I worship with them, so they don't face the TV, God bless, we're going to be in the Lord's will, Sister Silvana, I am in a church that does not allow television to give thanks to the Lord, the devil will come and manifest himself in various ways on television, cell phones are all Satan's cunning weapons to trap people at home in the parallel world of the devil, 
I watched a lot of horror movies mainly demons, and I already knew that God spoke to me in many ways to stop with DV, today I still feel tempted to watch but I control myself, for now I know that the demons come into my house through the television itself, these demon enter people homes through the gateway of soap operas, drawing, series, fiction films, and even cartoons that you see the devil himself, so it is asking God to remove the desire to watch TV because nothing is good, only what the devil want, TV was created by Satan to be a portal between the human world and the spiritual world, through the airwaves of the TV the demons of hell move, be warned brother TV is a strong weapon of Satan, the television is the devil's draw, remember that all the content of television is offered to demons before it goes on the air, Sister Sousa, now I know why I was an extremely disturbed child, I lived in front of this damn device called DV, watching the drawing of these filthy demons, I dreamed that on television there was a demon, through television he said to me, do what I say and I take you to hell, anonymous on television, I was fasting for three days, and during one of those dawns, God showed me many big and small demons of all colors, and they were coming out of the television before I couldn't see what was hiding behind this device and its program, after that vision, I read not even a newspaper anymore, get rid of what God hates, peace, when I was still little, at dawn my big sister left the TV on, and I saw a mummy came out of TV and touched me, and every time we see these programs dimensional portals and doorways of demons are open, when the person is attached to a television, he has a defeated home, the person has no spiritual strength, this device sucks your spiritual energy, I am freed from this portal of hell, many say they love God but do not want to leave things to the devil, sister Priscilla, I saw with open eyes, rats coming out of the TV, a vision given by God showing that the TV is like a filthy sewer, this is absolute truth, when I was still watching TV, I was a believer but I love the things of the world, for I was influenced by TV, and I started to get vain in the extreme, I wore makeup, long pants and lipstick etc, but I realized that God was not pleased with me, then I told my mom that I decided not to watch TV anymore, I don't watch soap operas and TV anymore, one more detail I want to mention, very often, I fall into demonic manifestation in the church in prayers of deliverance, and that week I left the TV, I fell again in demonic manifestation, the demon spoke in my mouth, he said, finally this goddamn thing has stopped watching my soap opera on TV, this demon gritted his teeth in anger because of my decision to give up TV and soap opera, that's when I understood that television is the devil's. It is useless to say that it is not, as soon as God set me free, a few weeks later my spirituality changed. These computer, TV, Facebook and internet sucks energy from souls and hypnosis, I asked God to show me something wrong in my walk, something that is undermining my salvation, he showed me many things, one of which was television, the TV takes away our spiritual vision, TV brought me spiritual problems, TV programs are consecrated to demons so that it can gain huge audience and to be successful and, all the dirt and contamination that is on TV is leading to perdition, in Matthew it is written that the eyes are a lamp for the body, if the eyes are good, your whole body will be full of light, but if the eyes are evil, your whole body will be in darkness, so we have to be careful what we watch, because it does influence our lives, comma two years ago I don't watch any more movies, I'm dedicating my time more to the Lord, sometimes you spend two hours in a movie, imagine you praying two hours or reading the word. Brother Daniel Souza. Glory to God praise be the name of the Lord God who is faithful and wonderful, I don't have a TV at home, I threw it away three years ago, it was the best thing I did for me and my family, people of God wake up take the television out of your homes, you will have more time to pray to fast to consecrate yourself and to carry the message, to win souls for your God is faithful and wonderful, Miss Vera Santus, peace of the Lord Jesus. I had an experience. I saw three demons and the middle one was all in black with a hood, I replied two left but the one in black told me in an electronic voice that he was not in me, but he was at my house, he showed me the TV, since a TV is a portal and the adversary use it in many ways, 
He even use it to send demons into homes and to dominate minds in false religions and political. He uses to reach the brain of humanity. TV link many of their religious programs are Freemasons. I have seen coming out of TV small demons from religious programs. Not all churches are of God and they are temples with huge TV screens shepherds masons illuminati move fortunes and this is the medium of TV, sister usinzos, I also had doubts about TV, I dreamed that the TV in my house was on, my husband was watching, when suddenly the demon manifested on the stage of the program that he was watching, people in that program prostrated themselves worshipping the demon and my husband who was watching was also prostrated worshipping the devil, I believe that God is not really pleased with this device, I found it extremely difficult to stop watching TV because of the habits since I was a child, but now I am trying to stop, for if there is something I don't want in my life, it is worshipping the devil and turn my back on my Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. A certain pastor said that when you are watching horror movies, there are several demons that surround you, because the invocations and all the other things in the movies, were made for that very reason, to invoke inside the house of those who are watching, why you are watching, watching it inside your house and therefore you are part of it, you are bringing various castes of demons to your home, your life, your marriage, pray and watch, brothers, better not to watch because the media takes the focus off our spiritual life with God, the internet has cooled many Satan is managing to end prayers and reading the word we have to watch more every day we will pray, the peace of the Lord, television is the devil's instrument, the devil works day and night to destroy homes, families, marriages and children, and using the means to work in the minds of children, this is the reason for homosexuality. The media and drawings all influence the behavior of children and people, my TV broke after 5 months of use, I believe it was the hand of God, because as soon as that happened, my home and I started to serve God more seriously, we were extremely mundane, I only heard funk music, I watch only horror movies, only things that God dislike, so as soon as the TV broke down we focused more on the word, I reconciled with dad. The enemy of our soul has appropriated this device, television, to deceive multitudes of people, teaching everything that does not edify our spiritual lives. When I converted 18 years ago, I took the TV out of my house. It was when Jesus gave me a vision that my house was full of demons because of the TV. After I took the TV away, God gave me extraordinary experiences. TV is a gateway for Satan to enter homes everything that is no good. We all heard a testimony of a six-year-old child that said, the spirit told her, if a TV enters her home, the presence of God would move away from that house, for inside the TV it was the home of a serpent, I watched her testimony and I was frightened, finally I took all TV out of my house, thankfully my husband supported me because, I have a seven-year-old child who went to sleep better. I started to dedicate myself more to reading the Bible and becoming more close to God, brother see this testimony you will understand what alerted me and opened my eyes, if you do not believe it is true I say it is more serious than you imagines, Jesus is coming back and this device has to leave our homes before the rapture because we may lose our salvation TV, my dear, there are TV programs that are made by Satanists and are dedicated to Satan and they contain subliminal psychological messages, these programs already set to destroy marriages, to misrepresent young people to encourage the practice of adultery through of novels and evil drawings, these programmed is the for you to be slaves of mundane things, pastor I want to tell you a little testimony about this video, I watched a series on Netflix, which seemed normal to me, there were angels and sorcerers fighting etc, one day God gave me a dream where I was dreaming demons that came to attack me, and I needed to rebuke them, but instead of praying and rebuking them in the name of Jesus Christ, to my surprise I dreamed that I cast a spell against them, and when I woke up I was horrified, I prayed to God and I understood that what I was watching was influencing me without my realization, then I never watched and I don't even have Netflix anymore, it was an experience that the Lord showed me. I glorify God for showing me what was happening humanity is really more and more blind, listening and accepting what the world offers us, 
The Bible rebukes us saying, My people perish for lack of knowledge.